I got your boy Diddy by the nuts. How long you think before I have yours right here in mine? What what would it take for Jay Z to go down like Diddy did? If your names are Jay-Z and Beyonce, then you might want to steer clear of the feds. Word on the streets is that the authorities have uncovered some damning evidence against the Carters while looking into Diddy and it's only a matter of time before fans catch them in the same waters. Maybe that's why the Carters are nowhere to be seen right now? Girl, things just got a whole lot crazier. So here's the tea. Remember how Beyonce dropped her recent country album, Texas Hold'em? Yeah, you'd expect the singer to be showing her face more than usual, but that's not the case. According to one report by Page Six, Beyonce and her husband are nowhere to be found. One source noted, this was supposed to be Beyonce's time, with her much-anticipated country album out just two months ago, and yet she is nowhere to be seen. The album is slipping and J and B aren't reveling in the spotlight. Another person added, Something is going on, it came out with a bang, gnome one everywhere. Now, it and she have disappeared. Well, according to a few insiders, Jay-Z and Beyonce are laying low to avoid being caught in the Diddy storm. Honestly, the truth is that the industry has been holding its breath ever since the raids on Diddy's houses. According to fans, the feds got hold of the tapes in Diddy's collection and it's about to be lights out for a lot of big names in the industry. I mentioned some of the interviews they wouldn't have had enough to just to try to arrest him first and then do the raid or they need the raid first to see what's at the property before they can build a case and build charges and then arrest him talk to me about the timeline of how this typically works in terms of if we're seeing a, a raid on several properties does that in conjunction with an arrest does that come before an arrest uh does that you know how does it typically work Typically, Jesse, it's in conjunction with an arrest. But I started thinking about this a little bit more last night, and I was, was thinking that if he has videos and or his associates have videos, and they are attempting to distribute those of young male children or female children, that means that a child is in imminent danger. Mm -hmm. And so part of me wonders if this was done to stop that um, and that they will get to the arrest obviously at some point um, because you know as you mentioned typically these these warrants are served and there's usually an indictment that goes you know hand in hand with that at the same time so in my opinion it's not unheard of it's just a little bit unusual we don't typically right. see this anytime we did raids um, at the FBI of, of this nature we ha also had an arrest warrant uh, for the individual as well and so it is unusual, but I don't want to say it's unheard of. And again, I'm just speculating, but part of me wonders if this was still actively being distributed. Um, and if it is, they need to shut that down immediately. In case the feds do find proof of mistreatment in those tapes, then everyone who was caught by Diddy's side is going to face the music. And let's be real, Jay-Z and Beyonce are on top of that list. I actually met Beyonce before. That was one of the people people be like, who you didn't met? You know what I'm saying? It, it, like it threw you out, like it took you back. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Beyonce, she, she, uh, I was at a party at Diddy Crib in, in LA. This was, uh, this was, this was the beginning of, of 2020. You know what I mean? And, uh, Diddy had, he had put everybody else out the crib. Like the, the influx of people, he had put them out. But he had, he had, uh, he had took a, a liking to me in particular around the time, man. It was really, you know what I mean? Like, putting his arm around me. Right. So he had put majority of the people out, but he allowed me to stay in there. Mm -hmm. Me and, you know, maybe about, maybe about 15 others, you know, right. Jay-Z and Beyonce being, you know, two of the other 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 15 people in the room. So that that just put it into perspective of the type of company I was in right. at the moment, you know? And she came over and, and introduced herself to me, like as if she had to, this right. Beyonce, cut it out. But I'm a big fan of your work, you know what I'm saying? Whoop the whoop, and that was just dope. That was dope as hell to me. Wait. He turned over tapes with the with the baby batter on it. Wait a minute. Breaking news. Actually, it's not breaking because I said this shit last year on that motherfucking blue couch. And I've been saying it, but it's breaking news when somebody else say it. Because, of course, don't nobody want to give me fucking credit for shit. Now, and don't nobody get no fuck about Beyonce. She's doing far worse things. They're bleaching her skin, I promise you that. That bitch is getting divorced because she don't want to be called as a material witness or be named as an accomplice, but it looked like it's too late. Oops. Because the Diddy, 
the diddy diddy diddy. Oh, diddy done turned over tapes, allegedly with the Carters. It's some freak off, and the and and the ba- and the Beyonce high on the cocaine, and the tapes had jizz all over. But Jay-Z has a lot to answer for than just some questionable tapes. Jaguar Wright thinks Diddy and Jay-Z have been working together for years. In fact, Diddy might have learned the trade from Jay-Z, who according to Jag is the smart one between the two. You just did a statement a month ago saying you never done nothing like that. Now you say different? How my mind? How illuminating? What was you lying? When you said you never done nothing like that after you got shown doing it. It must suck to know that Jay-Z is the most likely for all of this to be done to you. Little booty hole brother. Fucking thing one and thing two. Hmm? Did he, they are um, psychopaths. And they have been working together for the better part of 25 years. They collect victims. They compete. And they claim their prizes. You know, there was a movie called Kiss the Girls. Do you remember that? With Morgan Freeman? No, I definitely remember Shinja. that. Yep. And remember, they were looking for the Casanova on a line bird, the serial killer. And as they went into their investigation, they started seeing that certain crimes were mirroring one another. Two different styles, same hunt, same kill. They came to found out that it was two of them working, mirroring, competing, One type of woman grabbed one way, same type of woman grabbed another way on the other side of the country. They were able to find their lunar cycle and how they hunted and when they picked. And guess what? It was the sloppy one that got them caught because it was the sophisticated one that taught him how to hunt. You remember that? Yep. What if I told you I was actually just? <laughs> Sean Carter is just as bad as the Diddler. And I know that for a fact. I got the scars to prove it. But the real question is just what kinds of bodies does Jay-Z have in his closet? Well, sit down because we've got a lot of names. First, there's rapper L, who Jaguar actually dated back in the day. Sean Carter, I believe everything that Big L ever told me, he never lied to me. Lamont never lied to me. And the last time I was with him, he told me that he was going to try to kill me. And he told me not to trust you. And he told me to watch out for you. And he told me that your greatest sin is coveting Sean Carter. You're a coveter. I have no doubt in my mind that it was you that sent the shooter to shoot Beanie as soon as he got home. His mother was so terrified. We had to show it to TLA. I was there the second time because the first time we couldn't do it because you can send shooters to shoot this man and not to kill him. They shot him in his lung so it would make it twice as hard for him to be able to perform effectively. I'm sick and tired of you, Sean. Now you f***ing with my website? What, you trying to buy the uh, company that, bought, that got my server? We go onto the website to start putting everything together and get a new concert together and I can't get on my shit at all. Now we gotta go to the, I gotta go find fucking Batman to come and build firewall around my shit. You fucking think you gonna freeze me out? You think you gonna make it impossible for me to get fucking bread so I can keep telling the truth about your monkey ass? Fuck you, Sean Carter. Send more bloggers. I'll fucking wreck them too. Then there's singer Alia. The second that I said I wasn't gonna let him be my lord and master because I already served Jesus. You know, I ain't simple like his wife and neither was Aaliyah. 
I guess that's why he had her killed. Ugh. <laughs> Prove me wrong. Sue me or kill me. You killed that young woman. Who the fuck else would have known better how to have someone posing as Dame Dash's personal assistant call Aaliyah so strategically and tell her she needed to rush to the hospital in Miami because Dame was on his deathbed. Dame wasn't nowhere near Miami and he ain't had no assistant call Aaliyah. Who the fuck else would have known that other than his closest ally, his best fucking friend, the nigga that was fucking her before him? Fuck you, Sean. Prove me wrong, sue me, or kill me. I'm ready. Even Dame Dash called out Jay for messing around with R. Kelly, knowing that he mistreated Aaliyah. He also revealed that Jay had a thing for a singer and lost it when she chose Dame over him. And I remember Aaliyah trying to talk about it, and she couldn't. You know, she just would leave it at that dude was a bad man. And I didn't really want to know what he did to the extent that I might feel the need, you know, to approach to, to, to just deal with it. Just just because that's what a man does. But it just was so much hurt for her to revisit it. It was like, I wouldn't even want to revisit it without a professional. Whatever got done was terrible. And then what bothered me was, it was like, you know, I watched John Legend like be fearless about his opinion of it, regardless of politically how it may seem. But I've been, I've been tight about this shit for years. So to be honest, like, if you remember the best of both worlds, you don't see my name on that. You know what I mean? And, and... Your name is not on either album. Hell no, I never wanted no parts of that. So when Holmes was doing that shit, I was like, bro, you know our homie violated, and he violated my girl. He violated a friend of yours. So, you know, when he moved forward with that, like me, I was like, yo, let's go! I was like, yo, I don't want no part of that. Put my part of that to uh, to Aaliyah's breast cancer thing, you know? But then it was around the time when Jay was acting like he didn't want to really continue and move forward with all of us as partners because he didn't want bigs down because he wasn't doing and then there's Jacqueline Avant, wife of the black godfather, Clarence Avant, who got taken out simply because Jay and Diddy wanted Clarence out of the picture. So, specifically, we gotta ask you the question. You talk about murderers. I mean, that's a strong allegation. How do you know? No, they kill people. Right. Who and how do you know? If you could share that. I'm gonna tell you this right now. Last November, 2021, there was a Rock Nation brunch. Mm -hmm. Clarence Avon, the black godfather of the industry, responsible for Quincy Jones' career, brought us Bill Withers, took care of niggas in the game for the Jews for many years. Decades. At the dinner, he expressed he had no no interest in retiring, and he was looking forward to working with Rock Nation to build a better, brighter future for our people and music. Three weeks later, some random motherfucker uh, uh, wanders into his mansion with armed security and all that shit, with a fucking AR a rifle, a rifle. And shot his 80 year old wife Jacqueline Avon in the back. In a house. The murderer, once upon arrest, laughed about it to the police and told them how he enjoyed shooting that old woman in the back. Like he ain't have a care in the world. I recently found out that three days after that, Apparently, Clarence Avon has went into a state of full-blown dementia, progressive dementia, eating applesauce and blowing bubbles and milk and shit. Hmm. But three weeks before that, he was perfectly fine. I guess he had to retire, huh? 
Not long after that, Diddy and Jay-Z been running around acting like they fucking run. They What's more, word on the street is that Jay-Z might have taken advantage of Rihanna as well. The idea that Evan Rogers is going to help me figure that out. And who is Evan? Evan was the producer who only seemed to work on teeny bopper projects, who discovered Rihanna at 3 a.m. in the morning in a hotel room on the island where she comes from with no parental supervision. And then she was put on a private plane, a minor, from one country to another without parental supervision. And she ended up in a boardroom with Mr. Carter without parental supervision. <laughs> Y'all got young children, would you just let your daughter leave and go to a whole other country with some motherfucking niggas you don't know? Absolutely not. Doing talent shows at 3 a.m. <laughs> So you're saying that the rumors are true. There are rumors uh, circulating that Rihanna was actually trafficked here. Are you saying that that's- Starting to sound that way. Because a daddy ain't show up till 24 hours later to pick up a half a million dollar check for his daughter's ass. Maybe we should look more into that album, Auntie. That album cover was disturbing. A child bra with a crown over her head and blood smeared on her face. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> How don't people see SOSs anymore? <laughs> I mean, maybe I'm just crazy. So do you think that there will ever be a space or a time where Rihanna may come forward and express some of her experiences? I don't know, but I'm working. <laughs> I'm working around the clock. She didn't look comfortable pregnant, throwing up that goddamn diamond sign of me. Super Bowl word has it. She didn't want to do it at all. She just had no choice. And then she was forced to step down from her billion dollar company so she could be a mom. I guess that's what happens when your pimp put up all the money in the first place. Do you think that's also the reason why the album situation is what it is where she's not dropping any music. I mean, if I was her, I wouldn't. More music means more indebted. More music means more money laundering. More music means she stays a shell corporation and not a human. Now, since Jay-Z pulled all of this in the shadows, he's been trying like hell to stay 10 miles away from Diddy because he don't want the authorities looking his way. So are you, are you, are you trying to say like Jay-Z put hands on you? Sean Carter remembers everything he did to me and he's got it on too. Just like Diddy. <laughs> Anybody crazy is gonna be the one and they get them in the end. So you say that, um, that Jay Z. Fuck Jay Z! And I think it's time for him to start speaking up about his very good friend. Just nine months ago, you were singing his praises. All that he's done for the culture. And how you gotta be crazy like Diddy to make it. Didn't want to sit next to him at the Grammys. Uh, Told 
everybody that he had cooties and cancel the Rock Nation brunch, which is your favorite event because that's how you line up who you're going to use around me. Like y'all did with Clarence Avery. I told you I would, and I'm going to keep my word. And so, at the end of the day, it's in his best interest to hide from the authorities right now. Same goes for Beyonce, because if the cops come from her husband, she's going to get dragged into the mess as well for being an accomplice. Beyonce has been making posts on Instagram, but according to fans, it's only to keep appearances. But what do you think of the situation? Do you think Beyonce and Jay-Z are really on the run? Is the clock ticking for them? Let us know in the comment section below.